So, you finally did it. You finally got yourself a proper camera to make vlogs or record videos with. You then heard somewhere that audio is important to make your content better. So naturally, you hop on over to Amazon and find an external microphone or a shotgun microphone to use to plug straight into your camera. Great! Done right, you finally figured it out. You're now rich and famous and swimming in your money because of your YouTube success and your great editing, video, and creative skills. Except the audio quality is sort of bad? Is it the microphone? Maybe the camera? Maybe the YouTube gods getting in the way of your fame? I guess we'll never know that part, but I can help you with the first one. How's it going guys? It's Captain Mikey Wikey, and today I'm going to be showing you some simple steps on fixing your audio quality through the camera settings using any sort of external microphone that plugs straight into your camera. Alright, let's get into it. First things first, I do want to address the fact that this may work differently depending on what your camera is. I'm personally using a Canon model, so the settings may look different, but the idea is still the same. Okay, cool. Step one is to turn on your camera. This is a very, very important step. You can't forget it. Locate your menu button and find your video slash recording settings. Mine happens to be in the first section here. If you're using a Canon camera like I am, yours should just be underneath the camera icon. Next, find the sound recording settings. For Canon, it's labeled as sound recording. If you have a Sony, Nikon, Panasonic, etc., try looking for something that mentions sound or audio. Click on that. Here you will find a few options. Cameras are usually set to auto right out of the box. We don't want that as that makes it pretty sensitive. It's recording more unnecessary audio and background noise than it should be. As you can see here, it's picking up background noise even when there's no dialogue or prominent sounds. Press that option, assuming you have it, and set it to manual. Already, that makes a huge difference. Next, you'd want to play around with the recording levels. This is entirely up to your microphone sensitivity and how loud it records. Play around with it, speak into your mic and see if it gets really loud or if it's too low. Set it to your or your microphone's preference. The next thing is something that not all cameras might have, but if you have the option, definitely use it. Below the recording level is something called wind filter slash attenuator. If you have other models, it might just be called a wind filter or some variant of that. This just helps filter more unnecessary noise regardless of whether or not there's actual wind in the background. It doesn't affect the quality of the sound too much, so I would advise setting it on. Here is an example of my camera on the auto settings. As you can see, it's just deciding the audio levels for me, and it might be picking up more unnecessary noise. Not exactly the best, you know, hearing experience or listening experience, I should say. And this is the same microphone and the same camera with the settings adjusted. There's definitely still some noise present. You're not gonna completely eliminate that, but it's heaps better than the last one. The noise is now toned down significantly and it makes a big difference on your audio quality. And that's pretty much it, at least for camera settings and whatnot. You can always clean up your audio through your video editors if you have that option within the app or use a uh, free audio editing software like Audacity. I'll actually be making more videos about cleaning up audio through Audacity, so be sure you're on the lookout for that. But other than that, I hope this was helpful for you, and thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Pshh.